By the end of this video, you'll know how to add an automatic Twitter feed into your Discord server to either post yours or someone else's tweets and not have to pay a single dime. And on top of that, you pretty much get free custom branding, but I'll explain that a little later. So firstly, you want to go to tweetshift.com or click the link in the description and it should take you to a page like this. You want to click invite to server on the top right and then make sure you're signed into the right Discord account. You then want to click the drop down and then select the server you want to add this Twitter feed to. Ensure all of these permissions are ticked and then click authorize and obviously do the bot's verification and you should then have the bot in your Discord server. The next step is creating the channel and setting up the permissions. So to do that you want to hop over to your Discord. You want to click the plus by the category here. You want to select text channel and then you want to type it and give it a name. So either Twitter, Twitter feed or social feed, whatever you want to call it. You then want to click create channel at the bottom there. Once you've created it, you want to right click, edit the channel, go to permissions and make it so that everyone cannot send messages in the channel, but they should be able to view the channel and read the message history. So once you've done that, obviously click save changes. We then want to hop back over to tweet shift and click the dashboard on the top right. You may be asked to authorize your Discord account, it's nothing major, just click authorize and you should then see a list of all the servers that you're in. The servers highlighted in blue are the ones with the bot already in, so you find the server you want to add this Twitter feed to. And once you do that, you should have a list of four different options, overview, Twitter feeds, statistics and premium. Click Twitter feeds and sign into your Twitter account by clicking login and then authorizing the app. And once you click that, you'll see it's like a whole little list of steps which we have to complete to be able to add this Twitter feed in. But first, a quick mention of today's sponsor, WAP. WAP is a platform which allows anyone to generate revenue from their Discord community and it's a really simple process. You can sell full access to a server or specific roles and memberships to gatekeep channels and list it using their online marketplace so users can discover your community. Lots of people are willing to pay for exclusive access and support relating to the topic of your Discord server so it's really a no brainer. One thing I love about WAP is that they only take a 3% cut and like other services which take 8-12% meaning you can keep a lot more of what you earn. So sign up using the link in the description below to join the thousands already earning from their community. So the first one is the Twitter handle. If you aren't familiar with what that is, if you go to Twitter, you can see it on any person's profile with the at symbol next to it. Or if you're on the web version, if you have the profile open, you should see it in the URL. You want to copy that and put it into that box. And the second one is selecting the channel. You click the drop down, select Twitter or whatever you called this channel we made previously. And for what type of tweets should be posted, it's really up to you. I tend to just do the retweets and quote tweets, but you might have all three of these selected. It just depends how active the account is. Then you want to select how the tweet should be displayed. Personally, I always have it as show embed and hyperlink and use tweet shift powered embeds. You can obviously display it however you want and you can click examples here and you can see a list of different ones that you can present it. But I just think that looks the best. So that's the one I'm going to be using. And finally, you can choose whether or not you want users to be pinged every time a tweet is posted. Personally, I don't have a ping, but it depends on the amount you ping along with the importance of the tweets being posted by the accounts. Once you're happy with all of that, click start and you should notice it appear underneath the your feed section at the bottom. Finally, some important details to take note. It does take a couple of hours before the account is connected to the bot. So give it two hours, then just try it and it should automatically post. And it takes normally about 60 seconds with the free plan. Obviously you can upgrade using the premium version and you can obviously add more than 40 accounts if you're that crazy. I don't know how many different Twitter accounts you want to have added to this thing, but for the custom branding, it pretty much does look like a custom bot. The only difference is you've got tweet shift in the name. It looks a lot better than rather than using like Sapphire or Me6 which sends from their actual bot and if you want to upgrade to the premium as I mentioned you can either add these like uh, engagement buttons to try and improve your engagement on tweets that's just another option you can obviously explore that if you want to but hopefully if this video was useful be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're unsure or struggle with anything in the video you can just join my discord server as we have a discord help channel or you can comment down below it's up to you i do respond quicker on discord but i'll try and help as many people as i can and hopefully i'll see you again in the next video